Hi and welcome to Deployment News. This is where you learn about what's going on in the MDT and the Config Manager space. I can tell you that trying to run a video blog when you are constantly traveling can be quite challenging. So right now, this is my current setup. In a hotel room, Hotel Rival in Stockholm. About two weeks ago, Microsoft released Wave 4 of the Desired State Configuration Resource Kit for PowerShell. If you go to this web page, this is where you can download the stuff and also where you can learn more about what features there are in Wave 4. For those of you that are new into the DSC Resource Kit, it's basically just a collection of desired state configuration resources that are released by the PowerShell team at Microsoft, designed to help you getting started with desired state configuration. For example, resources that will allow you to configure Active Directory, SQL Server, IIS, Hyper-V, and more. Then last week, I was having a conversation with a fellow deployment geek trying to troubleshoot a deployment they were doing. It was a Windows 7 SP1 deployment, but when they tried that to some new hardware they were purchasing, they got the following error message. After some troubleshooting, it simply turned out that the reference image they were having was simply missing an update. The kernel mode driver framework update. So once they added that to the reference image, life was good. This is where you download the update, and you can use, for example, this in to inject that into your image, or you can do that as part of your build and capture process in MDT when creating that image. In the beginning of June, the latest release of the Java update was announced. Update 60. This is where you find the link. And this is an image I found that I think is quite interesting. Then, just a few days ago, a friend and fellow Swede, Matthias Benninger, released a new version of his application importer tool, version 0.3. As the name implies, the tool imports applications into Config Manager, but not only that, it can distribute the content, create the collections, create AD groups, and deploy the application as well. If you go to the Codeplex page, you can find the tool right here. That's all for now. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you again next week.